So we're going all the way back to 2019. Boston's won six of their last seven meetings against Golden State. I ask you, should the Warriors be worried about this Celtics matchup, Monica? Worried? I don't know if I've used the word worried. I think they should understand that. I think this series is going to go seven. I think it's going to be fantastic. You've got clashing styles in many ways in terms of what we admire so much about what the Warriors do offensively, but they also are a notable defensive unit. And then, of course, the Celtics, who have hung their hat on the defensive end throughout the course of the season. I'm really excited to see what this switching and the length that the Celtics have is going to look like defending the Golden State Warriors. I definitely think they need to be sharp and on their P's and Q's. They're certainly trying to win a championship, um, but I wouldn't use the word worried. I think we're in for a really good series. Alan? The two of the best defensive teams, defensive rating in the league, so we don't we talk so much about offense, especially with the Warriors, but this is going to be obviously about defense for both sides. You give credit to the Warriors and their defense. I mean, they are versatile. They're going to get guys back. Gary Payton II could be back in this series or expected to be, maybe even Otto Porter as well, two guys that make an impact for them defensively off the bench. And then, to me, a big difference, a big thing to watch, worried, I'd be worried about turnovers because both teams are high turnover teams, but the Warriors' turnovers turn into points for the other team in a hurry, and that's something the Celtics could take advantage of. Yeah, what's their biggest concern, do you yeah. think, with the Celtics? Well, I think, I think the Celtics' big, big, biggest concern right now would be trying to figure out a way to contain those shooters, right? Because these guys, the Warriors, they're nonstop movement. These guys are always all, you know, setting back screens, back cuts, off the curl, and as soon as you lose your, your eyesight on, on who you're defending, you know, these guys get an open shot and have a quick release. So that's going to be the, that's going to be the most challenging part defensively for, for the Celtics. But on the flip side, yeah. they also are – the Celtics are a much bigger team, length-wise, yeah. stronger, inside-outside. Um, so I would love – it's going to be interesting to see this matchup defensively uh, for both teams. Yeah, it's going to be a chess match for sure against a very experienced coach and a first-year mm. head coach, which is also going to be fascinating. All right, so Caesars has the Warriors as a slight favorite to win this series. A game one is Thursday in San Francisco, where Golden State is a three-and-a-half-point favorite. Obviously, we know the Celtics have been a great road team mm -hmm. in this playoffs. A seven road wins coming in, uh, but certainly that's a tough place to go in and play. So, who do you have? to win and in how many games? Monica, you go first. Oh, man. All right, I do think this goes seven. And I think I got to go home court advantage, ultimately. I think I got Warriors in seven. You don't seem very definitive about that, Monica. That was... Well, you know, <laughs> I just... I didn't, think, I didn't think we were going to get here, necessarily. So, here we are. <laughs> Mon so Monica's going, are. Warriors in six and a half. Not Monica. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, no, that was me this I mean, the morning. Off day, I was like, <laughs> Monica, they asked me this morning. I was like, Warriors, can I go like in six and a half, like somewhere between six and seven games? All right, Alan, what about you? Warriors in six, <laughs> and, 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 you know, they'll win on the road. They've done it before, uh, winning a championship. But I just think that they, are, they have the championship DNA to get it done. And, and I think it'll be, Boston will be chasing from game one. All right, Amari. Yeah, both Monica and Allen make, make really good points. Uh, and the experience of the Golden State Warriors can be an edge for, for them. But I got the Boston Celtics. Oh, and I, and I, I, got, I and like I, it. And I got the I Celtics like seven. Because these guys these guys are more physical. They're more determined. They're, they they want to get there. They're hungry. And, and that kind of mentality, I, like I think, is going to get those guys over the hump. You're saying the Celtics are more determined than the Warriors? Yeah, yeah. Why? Think, yeah, because these, these young guys, you think about Jason Tatum, you think about Marcus Smart, you think about the guys who, who all, and, and Jalen Brown, who was right there before. They've been to the conference finals three times and never really got over the hump. And these guys want to make a name for themselves. And so I think they, uh, they're, they're hungry for it. Man, but I think of this championship okay. team that was in disarray the last couple of years and determined to get back and win another championship, Monica. Listen, I, I love that from Amari. And I think that's a little bit why I'm waffling. You can make the case for why the Celtics could get this done. When you talk about their size, their commitment. But it goes back to our earlier conversation. The Celtics can get this done if Jason Tatum's killer instinct in the fourth matches what we know we're going to get from a guy like Steph Curry on the other side, right? right? And so I think that's where I got to lean on that championship DNA just a little bit because, to Allen's point, not closing out in game six, to me, started to put a little bit of question mm -hmm. marks in your mind when it comes to the Celtics. Yeah, and by the way, there's a little blank spot there, so I went with Come Warriors. On, yeah. I know I'm Warriors Come in on, six. Yeah. <laughs> just saying, Warriors in six. All right.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.